Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will fix an issue that we have with the preloader that we added to our blogger website in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that, you can watch it. I will leave the link in the description of this video. So let me just refresh this page. And we can see that we have this preloader animation for our blogger website. Now the problem with this is that uh, sometimes the preloader is displayed after some of these elements are displayed on the screen. So sometimes some of these elements uh, can be seen briefly, maybe for a fraction of a second before the preloader is displayed. So we don't want that to happen. We want to have the preloader displayed first before any of these elements. Now to fix this, we will do a couple of things. We will first create a container division for all the content except the preloader. And then we'll add some CSS to hide all the content except the preloader while the preloader is running. And after the page is loaded completely, we will remove the preloader and display all the content. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. Let's go to theme and let's go to our theme code. So I'll just click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. All right, so first of all, let's create the container division to hold all the content. So let's go to the body tag because that's where the HTML starts. So I'll just search for it. I'll just press Ctrl F and we'll just type less than body. And uh, here we have the body. And uh, this is where our uh, markup starts from. So before everything, let's create a division and uh, we will give it a class of website container. You can name this class anything you want. Now let's go all the way to the end of the code. So just before the preloader, so this is our preloader division and this is the if condition for the preloader. So just before the if condition, I will just end the division. So I'll just type less than forward slash div. Right, so now the website container division has ended over here. And here we have this preloader. Now let me just move this HTML to the top. So I'll just cut all of this from here. And let's go to the start of the body. So I'll just search for it. And here before the website container, I'll just paste the preloader markup. And we'll also close this if condition over here. So I'll just type the closing tag. Now we had the if condition for the JavaScript as well. So let me just copy this. And let's paste it for the JavaScript as well. This if condition makes sure that this script runs only if it is the home page. So I'll just paste the if condition over here. And here we already have the ending if tag. Right, so now the next thing we'll do is uh, we will add some CSS where we will hide all the content. So let's go back to the start of the body. And here for the website container, we will add one more class and we'll just name it hide. Now let's add the CSS for this selector where we have a division with a class of website container and hide. So let's go to the CSS. So this is all the CSS. So let's go to the start of the preloader and here we will add our CSS. So I'll just type website container dot hide and make sure that you don't have any space between both these classes because we want the division to have both these classes for this style to be applied. So when we have both these classes for the division, we'll just set the display to none. Right now we already have the hide class on the website container division. So by default, it should not be displayed. So here we can see we have this division with the class of website container and hide. So since we have set the display to none, this division won't be displayed. So this division contains everything inside our website except this preloader. Now once the preloader is hidden, we want to display all the other content. So let's scroll down and uh, we will add one more line of code in our JavaScript. So here we can see in our function, we have added this uh, line of code where we are adding this class called hide to this preloader. Now let's remove the hide class from the website container. So first of all, let's reference it over here. So I'll just type const website container and I will just type document dot query selector. This is how you select elements from uh, your HTML to your JavaScript. So here we'll just type dot website container. And let's remove the hide class from here. So I'll just type website container dot class list dot remove. And here we'll add the class. So I'll just type hide over here. Right now this should work. Let's save it. 
and let's go back to our website and let's refresh the page and we can see that everything is displayed correctly let's open the inspector and see whether we have the hide class displayed and hidden from here so let's go to website container and let's refresh the page and here we can see we have the hide class and now it is removed and everything is displayed correctly now let's go to the blog so I'll just click on this uh, blog menu and here we can see that the content is not being displayed now the problem is that we had set the preloader only for the home page so if you go to inspect we can see for the website container we have this hide class and because it is here we cannot see any content over here and since we don't have the preloader the JavaScript for the preloader is not running and hence this hide class is not being removed so we have to make sure that the hide class is only added when we are on the home page so for that you have to use a tag called class in blogger so let's go back to our theme code and let's go to the start of the body and here we can see we are adding this uh, container division and uh, it is called website container now let's remove the hide class from here and we will add the hide class only if you are on uh, the home page so for that you can use uh, this uh, class tag in blogger so let me show you how it works you have to just tap less than b colon class and then here you have to add a condition so I'll just type cond equals and then you also need a name so we we'll just type name and the name is basically the class name so I'll just type hide over here and I'll just close this tag over here now let me explain to you how this tag works first of all it checks whether the condition is true so if the condition over here is true then it will add whatever name we have over here as the class of the parent division so since this is the parent division which is uh, division with the class of website container so if the condition is true then the hide class will be added to this division right here after this website container now for the condition we have to see whether it is the home page or not so we already have this condition over here for the preloader let me just copy this and uh, I'll just paste it over here and now let's save it and see whether it works so let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page and we can see that the blog page is displayed correctly let's open a post and there's no problems over here now let's go back to the home page and here we have the preloader and everything is working all right so that's basically the fix that we had with the preloader where the other content was being shown before the preloader for a fraction of a second so i hope this video will help you fix the issue that you had with the preloader so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day